हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट लिस्ट व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड एज स्टैक्स एंड आल्सो एज क्यूज राइट सो ऑन लिस्ट मल्टीपल मेथड्स वी कैन यूज दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन द लास्ट लेक्चर राइट सो नाउ हाउ वी कैन यूज दोज मेथड्स फॉर मेकिंग लिस्ट टू वर्क एज स्टैक्स एंड क्यूज दैट इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर ओके सो इफ समन इज नॉट नोइंग वॉट इज अ स्टैक सो स्टैक इज बेसिकली सच काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर विच वर्क इन लीफो ऑर्डर राइट विच इज लास्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन रियल लाइफ ऑल्सो लाइक हाउ वी कीप स्टैक ऑफ चेयर्स राइट चेयर्स आर केप्ट ऑन टॉप ऑफ वन एन अदर राइट सो इन दैट वे इफ यू कीप द चेयर्स दैन वॉट हैपन्स द लास्ट चेयर विच वी हैव केप्ट ऑन द टॉप राइट दैट कम्स आउट फर्स्ट okay so the last chair comes out first so that is the order is followed right so that is last in first out so that kind of system if we want to apply in our computer programs also then that kind of structure is known as stack and stack we can implement using list right so uh, one of the implementation of stack in case of our computer programs are undo operations right you might have done this in some kind of text editor and all um, right we write something okay so if i am typing something let us say if i am typing this word stacks right and if i press back or if i press control z then what happens the last character is removed first right so they are also last in first out such kind of um, order is followed okay so that is one of the implementation of this stack structure so these things we can do using list and all okay so then how to do and what to do that we can understand here the list methods make it very easy to use a list as a stack okay so if you want to use a list in the form of a stack it is very easy to do here okay so here uh, the last element is added where the last element added is the first element retrieved right now to add an element to the top of the stack here actually top means what list is written in a horizontal manner right so here either the left part or the right part you have to assume as the uh, top and the other one as the bottom right so this assumption we have to keep by ourselves now what happens to add an item to the top of the stack we can use append right so and uh, we already know that append method is used for adding the element to the last of the list right so that means if here 3 4 5 is there and here append is there 6 then 6 will be added to the last so that part that means this right side we can keep as the top of the stack we can assume it as the top of the stack why to do so because appending element at the last side is far more easier right as compared to the first one if you keep this left side as the top in that case as many times you are adding some element rest of the elements has to be shifted back right which takes a lot of computation a lot of time it will take so instead we can keep the right side as the top and we can simply use the append method so one by one the elements will be added so i hope it is clear so how to add the elements that we have understood right now in case of retrieving right as i have uh, told the example of stack stack of chairs right so from in that case from middle any chair you cannot take out right one after the other only you have to take out the chair so first of all the topmost will come out then after that whichever is there that will come out right so in that order so that means here since this right side is the top of the stack so from this right side only the elements will come out also okay so if uh, here 5 is there so if i retrieve some element then first of all 5 should come out then 4 then 3 so that order must be followed right so in that case what we can do we can simply use pop method right so pop without using any explicit index so you don't have to place any index here because if you use index in that case from middle also some element may come out which will just um, you know it will it will not work as the stack okay so that is why use pop for retrieving the elements and automatically uh, the last elements will be retrieved in that case right so we can add the element to last and we can retrieve the element also from the last side so this is how stack can be implemented so as you can see the example is already written and uh, 
so stack is equal to 3 4 5 is a stored then we are appending 6 and 7 so that will be added to the right side okay so finally the list will become 3 4 5 6 7 okay after that when pop has been used without any index in that case the last in that means the last element which has entered in the list that will come out first so that is why 7 is coming out first and after that whatever list is remaining that is 3 4 5 6 again if you pop then 6 will come out then if you pop 5 will come out and finally 3 and 4 is remaining right two more time if you do pop then 4 and 3 will also come out so this is how stack you can implement using list okay so this is the overall thing and after that if you some other methods are also there right with some other operations which commonly we perform on stack that is uh, just seeing the topmost element so for those things you can just use some method and you can implement it okay so i will recommend that you do it by yourself um, all the common operations on stack whatever we perform that you try to perform using list okay all right so after that we will move on to the next um portion which is using list as queues so how we can use list as stack we have seen now using list only we can also build queues so how to do that that we will see here now queue is what it is another structure which works in the order of first in first out okay that means the element which will enter first that will only go out first also right like how it happens in the queue of a queue which is there in the ticket counter and all right we make a queue and in that case whoever person is going first they get the ticket first and they go out of the ticket counter also right so in that order it happens and uh, that that kind of queue we can implement in python also using list okay again in computer programs where where these queues and all are implemented where you can write programs for real life uh, applications and all for that so for that one example if i give then it is like uh, you know uh, printing papers whenever a lot of papers you have to print right then they in the proper order they are stored in the queue okay let us say maybe in the printer some fault is there or something you have pressed the print button but some fault was there and after that fault has been corrected after that in what order the papers will be printed in exactly whatever order you have given so the first paper will be printed and it will come out right the, then the second then the third like that so for that also whatever program is written in that case uh, the it is implemented in the order of a queue okay so queue structure is used there all right so other uh, examples and other applications are also there i will highly recommend that you find it out yourself and otherwise i just gave one small example okay now the thing is that it is also possible to use a list as a queue so definitely it is possible right but the thing is that lists are not efficient for this purpose okay it is possible it is possible but it is not a good choice that is what is recommended here okay now why it is not a good choice because the thing is that uh, while append and pop from the end of the list are fast which we are doing for the stack right doing inserts or pops from the beginning of a list is slow clear so here for stack what we were doing we were appending and removing both from the last position so that does not take much time right that takes constant time why because any other elements need not be shifted here and there so that is why it is taking constant time but when we are talking about queue now let us say here 3 4 5 is there right so here uh, other element and let us say this this front is there this is the front part okay so when i am appending 6 6 will be appended 7 will be appended but then when i remove okay i have to remove so the first element will be removed first so 3 will be removed first in that case 4 5 6 7 the remaining elements have to be shifted one step ahead like how generally in real also in real life also it happens right if one person has got the ticket then that person moves out of the ticket counter and remaining whichever uh, people are there they move one step ahead right so same thing we have to perform for these elements also but the thing is that every time so many shifts will be done which will take order of end time right so that is the problem with list so that is why it is saying that here if you are trying to do inserts or pops from the beginning of a list okay then in that case it is slow okay so i hope it is clear now because of all the
other elements have to be shifted by one as i said already right so because of that what happens uh, we can implement q in some different way you can do it using list also directly okay but it will be slow as it is written here so that is why we can just use something else and that is collections dot dq okay so which was designed to have fast appends and pops from both ends so in case of dq what is there you can append and pop from both the side so that is why it is little faster okay so what you can do and how you can implement it that is written here um, so this example you can follow so here from collections import dq okay now if you don't know the meaning of import and all because we have not used much we are going to study in the next units of modules and all but you can understand that collections like this some libraries packages and all are there in python which we import for using their methods okay so that is what what is done here now if you want to create the dq okay so you can create it this way this list has been provided and it will create the dq in this way now after that you are appending uh, some other strings also right some other people also so these two will be appended to the list and after that what we are doing we are writing pop left right so in this case the left element will be popped so left is eric the first element the first person so that first person will go out right so that is done after that again once more pop left is there so the second person which is john he will go out and after that if you just want to print the queue then the remaining people uh, are present in the queue right now right so this is how you can do it so in this case what is happening here also remove and everything is happening right but it it is faster it takes less time and computations so you can go with this so this was about how we can use list and uh, list for implementing stacks and queues so i hope it is clear you try it by yourself if you have any doubt then you can ask me in the comment section and i'm ending this lecture here thank you